Hey guys, so today we are doing this look. Um, I am using the new Jeffree Star palette and some new Too Faced Born This Way concealers, which I'm actually thoroughly in love with. I actually mixed it, mixed it in with my foundation today, so that's why I'm a little bit more glowy, but I love the finish because it is a little bit more one with the skin. Throughout the video, and when I do use these, I give an in-depth review of them. Um, I'm in love with these. They have hyaluronic acid in them, like... That's my favorite skincare ingredient, so what more can I ask for in a concealer that's going under my eyes and all over my face? I just feel like my skin looks a lot more hydrated without being oily or too emollient, like it's going to melt off because it is hot as hell in California right now. Um, so yeah, I'm completely obsessed with these and I'm going to do a separate review and swatch video on all the shades as well, so be on the lookout for that. I'm also doing a separate review on the Anastasia Sun Dip Glow Kit, um, and yeah, this is an O for Lip Color. I don't know what else to say. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what else you guys want to see, and let's get into the video. Alright guys, so my lid is primed with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20, and I just set that with China White from the Jeffree Star palette, which is this one right here, which I actually really like the texture of. It just creates a very smooth canvas for eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be going in with this blending brush and Courtney, and I'm going to be using this as my transition shade. Um, these shadows are great. Especially the matte ones, um, I really do like this shade for a transition shade, but I do feel like it really needs to be built up as with most of these shadows. Um, there is going to be a lot of fallout because they are very buttery, but at the same time I feel like it's good to have a shadow that you can build up because sometimes when you have too much pigment all at once you just get so much on your lid and it's really hard to blend. i rather like work it into the lid and just really try blending, 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 adding, blending, and blending some more um, instead of just getting a whole bunch on there and having the most trouble in the world blending this out. For someone who's a little bit darker, this will be a great nude lid shade, but for me it works as a transition. Very smooth, very buttery. It's also very subtle. Now I'm going to make a little bit more definition with that same Courtney shade on a MAC 217. And I'm really going to load up the brush and get right into the crease and rock it back and forth. I want it to be a little bit more opaque right in the crease because we're going to be blending a pink shade into it. So now I'm going to be taking a little bit of Star Power, which is the pink one, and some Courtney. And I'm slowly going to start building the pink in the crease, very slowly. Again, I'm going to look back so I can get this right into my crease. And we're just going to lightly buff this because we don't want it to be too much all at once. We want to slowly start to fade in the pink. So now on my Sigma E36 brush, I'm going to be taking three shades together because I'm being super extra. Star Power, Violence, Vanity, a little bit more Star Power. And this is a really small blending brush, and this is what I'm going to do to really trace out how I'm going to do this sandwich, smoky halo, whatever you want to call it, kind of by. Tap off excess, look back, and this is where I'm really going to build a crease. So I use the same technique as if I were to be doing a cut crease. I just rock the brush back into where the actual socket of my eye is and I really build it up to define that area so that I know how high I'm going to go with that center highlighting shade. So now that I have that color really placed down, I'm going to take this MAC 221 brush and that same hot pink shade and I'm going to look back and I'm really just going to focus on rocking this through my crease and getting rid of any harsh lines. So just small circular motions. So I'm going to take this Morphe E19, I believe it's from the Elite Collection, and I'm going to take some of those darker shades again, so Vanity and Violence. And I'm really going to pack it on right on the inner part of our halo. And just dig it into the socket and blend it backwards. So I'm going to do the same thing on the outside part. So 
and take a little bit right in here to define the very top of the crease. Alright, so now I'm taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue on a Morphe B19 brush. And I'm just going to put this on the center of my lid because I'm going to be using the shade Rich Bitch. Right on the center. And this shade, honestly, I was expecting a lot more no shade, but I really was. The pigmentation is not all there on its own. You really do need a sticky base for it to be at maximum pigmentation. It's almost like a pressed pigment, but it's like so dry that you can't get it up by itself. It has to have something there. But once it sticks on it, it's great. Like, it's amazing. It's foiled. Like, watch. Like, you see it sticks on like a dream. But if I were to stick it on by itself, like even on my hand, like it barely stays. So, I don't know, I mean, it's a great shadow. I love the color of it. It's a very true gold with a semi-green undertone, which I love. Very different compared to, like, the very yellow golds. Um, but once you have the pigmentation, and even wetting the brush, honestly, didn't do the most for me. Um, I did have to use a glitter glue for it. But once you have it on, it's completely fine. And then what I do is I take a little bit of violence which is this satin finish purple shade and I kind of buff and get the edges snatched because I did use a glitter glue it sticks right where you put the glitter glue on so you really want to buff a little bit harder to really get those edges buffed out and I'm going to take that same brush I had the pink sheet earlier to get around the top part. I mean, that's pretty much it. I would just buff out, buff out the edges a little bit. And now we're going to move on to our base after I wipe off all this fallout. So, yeah. Okay, so I did my foundation and I used the Becca foundation mixed with a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in medium. Um, and I'm actually going to be highlighting today with the same concealer but in light. These concealers I have been obsessed with lately. These do have the coconut water in them, just like the Born This Way foundation. So they do smell a little bit like coconut. It's not overwhelming at all. It's not something you can smell throughout the day. Um, I feel that these are very hydrating. They're not going to be hydrating in the way that they crease, but they're going to be very hydrating for someone who does have a more dry or wrinkly, not wrinkly, but has a lot of lines under their eyes. It does have hyaluronic acid in it too, and that's actually one of my favorite skincare products. So to have it in a concealer that's going under my eyes is like... A match made in heaven and then I just like to put it in my highlighting areas and I also mix it with my foundation today because my skin has been actually kind of dry lately which usually doesn't happen but this actually made my skin a lot more glowy and I feel like it just looks more supple when I wear this concealer mixed with my foundation and not crease I feel like I don't have to bake as heavily and when I do it doesn't look crepey because you're already hydrating the under eyes with your concealer so it's not as big of a worry. And also these don't make me oily even though they are a lot more hydrating. Which actually surprised me because when I first felt the formula I was like, okay this is really hydrating. Am I going to start creasing all the time? But this actually stays all day on me. And I feel like maybe like after 8 hours of wearing my makeup, since I do have longer working days. After 8 hours my skin tends to look really tired and crepey, especially on my under eyes. And with this one I don't find that it does. And I also love these for contouring as well, just because the formula is just so smooth and silky. So I'm going to be using a contour shade today as well, more like a cream bronze. But yeah. So for my contour shade today, I'm going to be using the shade Dark. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put it around my dome. Just to really bring it in. So I got a five head. And then a little bit underneath the cheekbones, just to warm it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and really work it into the skin. This is more of a neutral warm shade, the dark shade is. Um, but again, I'm just using it more as like a cream bronzing than a real like contour contour. This just does add a lot more dimension back into the face. So you see how it added subtle dimension back without being too heavy? 
And I love these concealers because they don't set super fast. Because I find with other concealers sometimes, you have to blend them out right away or else they go really patchy. With this one, you don't have to worry about that. But at the same time, it's not too emollient to where it's like slipping and sliding either. So now I'm going to take a little bit of my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I want to get all the creases out. And I'm going to take it on a powder brush from Morphe. And really set underneath the eyes. And I love how this concealer looks once it's set with powder. It just looks so seamless. And you see my under eye doesn't look dry or crepey at all. So again, I'm going to take away all the creases. And I honestly don't even really have to do any baking just because I'm really happy with how this set. Um, now we're going to move on to the rest of the face. So I went ahead and set my face with um, the same Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to take my Sweet Tea Bronzer from Too Faced, which I'm actually kind of obsessed with, on this Morphe M527 brush. This is more of a glowy bronzer. Um, I do love a glowy bronzer, that's for sure. So, it's like a match made in heaven. I usually tend to use it on the perimeters of my forehead just because I don't like a glow in the center of my forehead because it just makes it shine like a disco ball and it's just like a spotlight in the center of my forehead and I only want a spotlight on my eyes. So there you go. Um, and I just like bringing it forward through the cheekbones a little bit down here just to make sure everything's cohesive with my neck and my face. I don't like a very like strong bronze with the bronzer. I like it to be more of an overall bronze. Um, so I just kind of do it very loosely and with a more fluffy brush. And now I'm going to take my Make a Peak Bad Habit Contour Powder on this Morphe G35 from the Gunmetal Collection. And just really go right underneath my cheekbones. Just to chisel them out a little bit. Taking this Make a Peak Blush in Infatuation on this Motives Duo Fiber Brush. I'm just blending it back towards my cheeks. I'm not really a blush person, but this one I can do because it's more of like a brownie, peachy, nude shade, there but not there blush, which is totally doable for me. I'm actually going to do my highlight in a separate video. I'm going to be doing a review and demo on the new Sun Dipped Glow Kit from Anastasia. It's this one right here. Um, so be on the lookout for that. It should be up already, but if not, it will be up after this video. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, so off camera right now, I'm actually going to do my brows and one eye, and then we will resume our regularly scheduled programming. Is that how you say it? I think it is. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so off camera, I use the NYX, where is it? It's one of their brow pencils. I believe it's Espresso, I think it is. It's like the Brow Wiz dupe. And then I did them a little bit like thinner, not thinner, but more to my shape today, but a little bit more defined. I'm not a fan of how naturally thin my eyebrows are, but we're working with it. Um, and on top, I used a Too Faced Brow Quickie and Quickie, Quickie, in Universal Brunette and just brush them through. <clears throat> and then now I'm gonna take Vanity from the Jeffree Star. Actually, on my waterline, I used LA Girl Liner. In black, it's the gel pencil liner. And I'm going to take Vanity on an angled brush. And run it right across the bottom. I'm going to take a little bit of violence and star power. So for lashes today, I'm using Lily Lashes and Mykonos. Yet again, I'm still obsessed. I'm sorry. I'm really not sorry. Um, and for lip liner, I'm using MAC Lip Liner in Stone and Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Dubai. We're gonna try out this combo. I have a bad feeling about it, but we're gonna try something different. Um, discount code is MAKEUPIDG for 30% off all of Ofra's products.
All right, guys. So this is the finished look. Um, I did a separate review video and demo on the Anastasia Sun Dip Glow Kit, and yeah, that's what I'm wearing right now. Very glowy. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with this look. This lip color is kind of iffy. It's very comfortable. Very. I mean, I love the formula of Ofra. I think it's just the color. I wish I was just like a little bit more dark, dark gray. But I'm trying to do a little bit more nude and things that are different. So we're being different today and I hope you guys like it. I am going to have a separate review video and swatch video up of the Too Faced Porn This Way concealers. I do have all 10 shades so I'm going to do a video swatching them on my arm um, and also giving more details. I mean I gave you all the details here but I will do an in-depth review on everything. Just really reviewing them more in-depth and showing you all the shades and everything like that. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for this review. I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow look. I love me a good spotlight eye. And yeah, I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you guys want to see down below. And until next time, I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching.